All right, so I have a, a website with a lot of products. I've got about 4,500 products, and the coupon tools on BigCommerce don't have the flexibility that I need for my business. So I wanted to show you an app that I just created. Um, it's not yet for sale, because I don't know if anybody actually wants it, but we made it for our business, um, and I'm gonna show you. But let me explain to you why. So I have a couple of products that the vendors won't let me discount. And this creates a problem on our website because uh, Big Commerce will allow us to set up a coupon that works for certain categories, but not other categories. And while that's helpful, uh, it's limiting for our website because we have items that, that we can't discount that live across multiple categories. So I might have one in this category, okay, here, but it also lives in one of these categories where I've got things organized by color or theme. And so I have kind of a cross dilution or I've got I've got a kind of a problem with how I've got my, my product, how I desire to keep my products uh, organized by categories um, and not being able to work with the coupon tool. So uh, on, in BigCommerce. So I've just created this app. Um, the, it basically, I start by, I suck, it sucks down all of the, um, it sucks down all of the coupons that I have in BigCommerce. Um, and I can just kind of show you here. It looks looks like this when you get there. It's got them organized by um, kind of their age or their ID. Um, and the one that I just created here is for Easter. Um, so I'm gonna go to page two. And I'm gonna click on pre-Easter. And the, you know, the user interface isn't terribly uh, exciting. <clears throat> it looks a lot like the BigCommerce one at the top. Um, so I've got the name, the code, how I want it discounted. So this, in this case, it's 20% off of any order over $200. Um, and I've got it enabled and I've got, uh, you know, when it expires. And so right now, because I had it set up this way in BigCommerce, it's just all my categories, but that's not what I want. What I want to do is I actually want to exclude brands. So I'm going to do all brands except so this would be anything that doesn't have a brand or any brand except, and then I'm going to start clicking items that I don't that I want excluded. So in this example, again, it's going to be any product that doesn't have a brand, and then it will include any product that doesn't have a brand, and then any, and then it will include every other product's brand. Um, except the ones that I select here. So I'm basically going through and I am getting rid of um, things that I don't want, that I know that my vendor will not allow me to discount, okay? So what this does in the background is this, because BigCommerce really is set up to do things by product level, this will create a query and assign all of the, anything that that's, um, Anything that is included, it will assign that SKU to the coupon. So it's it is it it is working on the SKU level or on the product level, um, but the you know just allows you to do so more quickly because it lets you work on the brand level. Um, anyway, I haven't really thought about selling this, but I just wanted to share it with people that it is possible. If there's somebody out there that desperately wants this, I might be able to find a way to offer it. Um, you know, for a couple of bucks or something like that. And, you know, I'm not really set up to sell things uh, software, um, but I did spend the money to have this built and I figure somebody else ought to benefit from it too because we're doing it in our business and it's working perfectly. Um, there is also, the other way you could do it is you could do categories and then you could do all categories and you could exclude certain categories. Um, but, um, you know, and then, the, then there's the standard way which you could just do, you could pick your brands. So there's kind of a, um, you can do, you know, you can select the categories you want to include, you can select the products you want to include, you can select the brands you want to include, or in our case, we just want every product except certain brands. And then at the bottom, we just hit submit, and it pushes it to BigCommerce, and away we go. So that's pretty much it.